Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy SBX. And this video topic that I want to discuss about is like the pros and cons, you know. This is right here, it's just an observation, the difference between what a lifestyle of a nerd and what a popular person does, I guess. I don't know how y'all explain that. But you know what popular cool kids do versus the geeks and the nerds what they do it's like it's just pros and cons on everything because the reason why i'm doing this video is because i experienced both worlds of being around nerds and being around popular people but i myself i'm, I'm, I'm growing up as a kid i've always been around people who are cool and i mean i'm assuming that are cool and people that i thought and know for a fact they're cool you know i hung out with anybody but most of the times i've always hung out with nerds and kids who are average joes and just normal people but sometimes with popular people though it's like you know you got your cool people you got the ones that think they're cool but really they're assholes in the end but let's go let's see some observations on how and the pros and cons about the difference between a nerd and a popular kid so roll the footage first person to pick is the nerd now the reason why he's number one to choose is because a lot of times it's like a nerd is both everything you know an outcast the type of guy who some people wouldn't really necessarily want to hang around but in this day and age everybody makes false assumptions and and don't see clearly what nerds are all about uh, basically what nerds are are people who have a great intelligent mental state of mind where you know their life is not all about bullshit they think about whatever is on their mind and if, and if it's not physical it's pretty practically thinking strategies you know on other levels not a lot of nerds are physically active like playing sports or working out and stuff like that but it's possible that they can but the average ones don't you know even if you're a nerd or a geek or whatever these type of people I will say that geeks and nerds have some things in life that they enjoy you know they enjoy pure the you know computer computer games like playing Dungeons and Dragons if not that um, they enjoy you know anime you know and personally I also love anime too um, and just playing video games anything that deals with RPGs and strategy board games like like I said Dungeons and Dragons computer wise uh, playing it or World of Warcraft and you know stuff like that but the thing is about nerves is like some nerds are very creative vividly vividly creative when it comes to what they're doing now the thing about nerds is like the nerds are not really respected in society they only be used for whatever that they need in life as far as you know technology and upcoming video games and anything that deals with business related stuff but I'm not saying all nerds are good at investing these things and have or gain knowledge of these things but I would say though it's like a nerd is pretty smart of what they're doing and they keep their time you know some of them read books and you know some are in honor roll some of them are pretty intellectual with their IQ scores and stuff like that but 
you know, I'm not saying every nerd knows a lot of things. Like, not a lot of nerds to knows too much about computers or have an IQ score of something. You know, everything. They're not too brainy and, you know, like Steve Urkel and dressed in. You know what I'm saying? It's a stereotype of saying about geeks and nerds wear suspenders and sh uh, pants with high waters and all the way up to their pelvis, wear their pants all the way up to their pelvis and stuff like that. The average nerd, you know, wear clothes like anybody else. It's not swag, whatever the fuck y'all niggas is wearing. They don't wear the, some nerds, well half of the times, nerds don't really wear what the other kids are wearing. You know, there are some times that nerds will wear something that is related to anime or uh, rock style clothes. If it's not that, they have to wear clothes that their mother has to force them to wear, which is fucking embarrassing. You know, that they think they should look appropriate on clothes. But there are some times that geeks and nerds want to wear whatever the hell they wear because they're comfortable in their own skin. That's the thing about nerds and geeks, though, is that if they really crowd and don't care about, you know, the hype that's going on, they just stay in their own lane. But I do respect nerds because, you know, they pay homage to life, you know what I'm saying? They're our future. Without nerds, how are we ever going to figure out what's, how to, you know, live life? Which a lot of times people like to criticize nerds because they think they're weak, they're too skinny or too fat, they got pimples around their face, they talk too properly, they're uncool, they dress weird, they smell funny, um, you know, stuff like that. And to be honest though, back in high school, not in high school, but actually, actually high school I was hanging out with the nerds, but I was still dressing the same. But I would say that between like nearly my uh, like half of my elementary school days and my middle school days I was always the kid who hang out with geeks and nerds and people want to make bad assumptions about me because if I hang out with them then I'm a geek or a nerd which nowadays I don't give a fuck you know what I'm saying uh, I tr you know that's the thing it's like you know when you hang out with these geeks and nerds you're comfortable hanging out with them because they have something to offer in life you have something you can do an activity because when I was hanging out with the geeks and nerds we most likely talk about anime we usually draw like uh, anime characters anything between Dragon Ball Z Gundam or um, make up our own anime characters and stuff like that or you know things that represents what we what we love to do but I mean like I said the only thing that nerds are lacking on is just some half of the time nerds are lacking self-esteem is because the way they act the way they dress the way people treat them it's like nerds are on or the outcasts of anywhere between school or society because a lot of times nerds don't go to the club or nerds don't go hang out with places where all the cool people are at because most of the times nerds are in their um you know at home playing games on the internet like playing online games between computer games and playing xbox playstation or nintendo wii or whatever consoles they play and they're hanging out with their um, friends who are the same way too but you know and also the fact that a lot of times nerds don't ever tend to have sex and get laid and or ever reconsider having girl screams but that's not really the case really there's some times that women are nerds so in fact i actually met some hot nerdy girls before in my lifetime girls who like anime and stuff like that too but it's just the difference between what a nerd pursuing versus uh, a nerd that is really skeptical with women it's like when a nerd falls in love sometimes nerds want to fall in love with women who have the same things that they have in common so at least a nerd knows the 
a way of compatibility. Some nerds like Steve Urkel, they fall in love with a girl who look like Laura and they do anything in their power just to get with them. And 9 out of 10, the girls who play the nerd is going to hurt him for a long run. And there's sometimes that nerds try to change up their attitude, change up the way to be more accepted to, you know, people. Just like, you know, how Steve Urkel had uh, drank that potion and later on made a machine to turn into Stefan Urkel from Family Matter episode when um, Laura fell in love with Stefan. It's just that sometimes nerds will do that because deep down inside, with nerds are very insecure because a lot of times they get picked on, bullied on, and criticized by people who are no different from them or who are different from them. They think they shit don't stink, like the popular kids. So let's get to that, people. Well, the next person I had to put up with is the popular kid or anything Miss Congeniality the you know the, the guy who played varsity football basketball like the jock or the bad boy or whatever he or she is now these type of guys are known for that type of charisma in my, sometimes it can be confidence but it's like a mixture between that and arrogance because most of the times with popular kids or cool kids or whatever the whatever they are they have a narcissistic behavior where they think you know the world belongs to them they are the rulers of their own world and their own masters of manipulating people to think okay I'm that I'm that cool guy or I'm the most prettiest girl in the world now kneel before me now there are some times that cool kids don't act like this or think this way but they most likely be popular for what they do because like I said sometimes there's um, the varsity basketball football or whatever sports you play you know whoever is good at playing those sports they have more recognition of, of that most of the times that those type of people who are popular, they're physically active, they, you know, some got muscles, and the girl have the fun, beautiful face and a nice figure body and stuff like that. No matter if the girl's a cheerleader or just the coolest girl or the most hottest girl in the um, class. Because let's say for the guys, like I said, um, if they are the alpha males, they tend to go out they're their ways to get what they want they get to be with the hottest chicks ever they get to you know have their own people follow up to them now pros and cons about that is with the cons with popular kids is that most of the time they don't really have a personality that represents being sincere it's most or not just being sincere it's just that when people follow up to the popular people, they're just following these people. They don't have any type of guidance or follow their own paths of living their life. They just choose to be around people that they think is cool. Now, the, um, but on the flip side with the pretty women, it's like, you know, the girls who are like the white girls who are like, oh my God, the valley girls who uh, being sitting in the table and talk about bullshit and gossip and that's the thing about those type of women too they have nothing interesting to say just to talk about makeup clothes guys that they have sex with and not only that they just talk shit behind people's backs between the cool and the uncool people and not only that they just talk about themselves in the end behind closed doors and stabbing each other in the back no it's like that type of behavior makes you not want to be around these people because my thing with these type of women and these type of guys are they tend to feel like they don't need to do the old fashioned way of just being nice and being friend instead they think okay clothes jewelries or that type of mentality gets to where or money or whatever the case may be 
will give you the friends that you want that are lackeys where they have no type of control or any type of opinions that they can uh, speak their minds to about or reconsidering the fact that you know uh, how can I say just don't know how to you know be their own individual about things it's like a one cool person or so-called cool person or a pretty girl will be the ones who are just leading the way while others are following so not only that like I said about the drama it's like nine out of ten the public kids cause way so much drama than the nerds because when it comes to the nerds they don't really argue or talk shit behind anybody's back I mean that is possible but most of the times you hear more drama with the popular kids or whatever because sometimes a pretty girl is going out with this uh, guy and you know there's some times where these type of chicks have sex with these guys at the uh, locker room or in the bathroom and the general janitor's rooms and stuff like that and and sometimes that builds up maybe a reputation any, anything good or bad they will follow up to it you know but uh, sometimes for a guy he could be a player he gets that type of mentality but when it comes to a woman she's a hoe and this and this and this and that but the old oh, lot of guys want to hit that because she's fun as hell not only is just the gospel it's the gossip I mean not the gospel but the gossip about uh, popular kids is that half of the times they're not so smart most of the times they're some dumb retarded motherfuckers who don't know shit from shit and most of the times they're ignorant as hell not knowing shit but they want to bash and criticize somebody who has common sense and have an intelligent type of view in life that's 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 one thing i don't like about cool kids where they are so ignorant that they want to make fun of somebody who is smart and know what they're talking about even though they can enhance their vocabulary they want to criticize them because they're not using slang they're not dressing with swag and stuff like that that's the thing about popular people they're too materialistic and they're too uh, just arrogant and it's just so fucking snooty that their attitude and their mentality make their brains are so stuck up their own asses is that they don't know how to think straight and they just want to act a fool just to look cool it's like when you, it's like when you're trying to be popular or want to be a, a popular kid you have to sell out you gotta be something that you don't want to be or act, you, act like you want to be it's like out of the 10 the reason why popular people don't keep too much friends is like a lot of people don't know how to be themselves and they just want to follow up whatever they think that makes them feel cool I'm not saying all popular kids do but it's just that this is how it is this, this is like being a celebrity that's the thing if the popular kids and celebrities are, are, are the same it's all about high power to what they go for whoever is a trendsetter who dressed with the coolest clothes or the newest shoes the you know whatever the case may be they're gonna follow up to that person and not only that if somebody who is just that cool for a moment it's just called 15 minutes of fame where you know everybody some guy who or some girl look cool or does something cool or say something cool she'll give and they everybody will follow up to her attention but then it'll be a short run where people don't want to fuck with them no more in the end, you don't see that with nerds or anybody else. But a nerd is eternal. With a popular person, you gotta keep up with that popularity, which is too much energy to strive on. And if you lose your credibility, then it's gonna be hard for you to retain it. In the end, that's why I don't wanna I real fuck about popularity. It's too much work and you have to be a seller and a fucking idiot in order to be what you wanna be. But anyways, uh, this is just a little, you know, video that I want to discuss. I'm, I, I've done a video something similar like this last year, but I had to delete it. But I think I need to, ha at this time, I need to make remake the video just to see in a verbal and virtual 
uh, visual way of explaining things about being a nerd or being popular. So, you know what I'm saying? Life is all about who you are as a person. You don't need to be cool just to get the, all the friends you want or get the attention. It is okay that you don't know about things as long as you are able to have knowledge and like the things that a lot, a lot of people would like, but something that you like because you have a passion for, you know? The difference is with a nerd, it's like a nerd is passionate of what they're doing. Sometimes with popular kids, they have a passion of doing that, but at the same time, you know, it's all about balance between what you are doing in life. But I can't really explain about popular kids because nowadays, being popular, like I said, it's, it's too much to deal with. You don't need too much attention and you don't need too much credibility just to find people to find who you are. It's all about who you are in the heart. You know, all, all my subscribers out here, this is all for you guys. Whoever is in high school or college or any other grade school and you deal with this stuff, all my nerds, keep doing, you got, keep doing what you got to do. And for all my popular kids, better wise up. Life is not all about swag and not all about money. Well, of course it's money, but your ways of just being very materialistic about things, that's not what it's all caked up to be. And others' perspectives, but people learn to love each other and have some acceptance on people. Nerds are our world. Without nerds, and how can we figure out math? How can we play video games? How do we wear our clothes right? How are we ever calculating things about what we do out of life? It's like everything about life with nerds is all about what they gain knowledge about math and science and history. You can learn a lot. Nerds is not all about that. It's all about being a better person and being yourself. But it doesn't hurt to come with style. But anyways, peoples, let me know what y'all think. Comment, like, and subscribe. SBX wrapping this up. Thanks for watching. Peace out. One love.